electrical here, first video, so bear with me if it's a bit shit. Shout out to all the people that are going to watch this. Uh, love you, mum. Shout out to the Mandem, my boys. Shout out to the Boulder Hut crew. Hopefully we'll get some of them on the videos one day. I've decided to start vlogging my workouts because why not? Hopefully we'll be able to see a progression with what I'm doing. Hope you enjoy. Shouldn't leave my arm up like that to stop it straight away, should I? So just... I did this more or less to get the muscle up. It took me about a year to get, but I'm gonna add the muscle up at the beginning of the session, just so that I can improve on that. There's, there's way further I can go with the muscle up. My knowledge of working out is by no means comprehensive. I've put together this workout from what I've seen uh, online. From hey Ma. Is it? Okay, and look. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, I'm gonna film my workout. So, cardio, five minute run. Normally, I'd skip uh, for my warm up because you can just stay where you are, you know. But I haven't got a skipping rope at the moment. So, just to run up and down the road. Check it. How do I flip this? Can't flip it. So this is part of a 5k run that I do. I do two laps of this. Got a really nice view of Wales over there. Can't really see at the moment. We're gonna have a little time lapse of the warm up now. to get started the lights going down um, hopefully it won't matter too much I'm feeling pretty good today I've been climbing a fair bit the past few days I went surfing a few days ago as well it was a good um, exercise uh, session for exercise in the middle of uh, quite a few climbing days I had uh, a day of doing nothing yesterday today I'm feeling pretty strong I've eaten pretty well as well it's a good time to do a session five sets of muscle ups. So that was one. And first, first one I did one, so that I didn't shock the body uh, with the movement. Might try two on the second set. ready to do my second set. I might try two now. Okay, I struggled a bit there with the uh, second muscle up, this shoulder sort of gave up, so I might keep it to one on the next one. Set three, try and keep it strong, good form. <laughs> that was a nice and strong one, my shoulder felt good. Would you just want me to stand on the knee? Yeah, go on. <laughs> oh, 
set four. I'm gonna go for two. Getting the, the hands in the false grip to start with. Um, legs together, big breath in. Up, exhale on the up. Manage the one there, then half up the second one, which uh, I didn't really want to do. Uh, so basically, what happened on the second one is I've got my hands in the false grip, and then I pull up, and then when I've got that momentum going over the bar, I do a tiny little adjust adjustment um, so that I can get my hands further around the bar, so that I can use my wrists to help me get up and over the bar and that time I didn't I got up there but I didn't quite make the micro adjustment I think for the fifth one we'll just do one again I'm training this right now with the aim to do max muscle ups for a video. The max I've done in a row is four. So normally when I'm doing muscle ups, I don't go too hard because I don't want to injure myself because I think it puts a lot of stress on the shoulders, on the elbows. There's the potential for the muscle up to uh, get stuck in this position, which puts a lot of stress on the elbows. What we want to do is we want to move quickly through that, nice and strong, so we're not, uh, so we don't have all that tension in the elbows. Then when we get up and over the bar, uh, the dip, the bar dip, um, if your shoulders aren't strong enough, you can really go into them. Uh, and that's what we want to avoid as well. So when we go up and over, we want to do a nice press, strong shoulders and then back down again. So when I aim for my max, I want to be doing every single muscle up uh, nice and strong so that I don't injure myself in the process. That was the first exercise done, muscle up. I managed to do five sets of one. Tried to go for two in one of the sets, but didn't quite make it, half repped it, but it's good to see anyway, because it does happen. The important thing with that half rep is that I didn't try too hard on it. Once I knew I hadn't got it, I didn't try and force it, you know. Uh, I think I knew it wouldn't have gone anyway. Good muscle up uh, set. And I'll be up in the reps very soon onto the pull up. For my pull ups, I have my hands in the false grip, like I do with my muscle ups, just to uh, get used to that position. I always start from an active hang, so my lats and my back are engaged before I start the movement. I make sure that I have my legs slightly in front of me to make sure that my core is engaged all the way through the movement. I'm not using my legs to help create momentum for any of the movement. When I pull, I got my hands quite close together. That's how it is, that's how I do it for the muscle up. And then I pull my elbows straight down to my, to my side here. Try and get my chest as high as I can over the bar. I know I can do four nice clean reps with uh, good form training, uh, low intensity, high volume. Set one of pull-ups.
at least uh, I think it's set for. Sometimes I forget what set I'm on because the brakes are so damn long. just had a look at the last set I may be using my legs for momentum what I'm going to try and do in the last set is keep my legs exactly where they are engaged from the start and focus on using uh, my lats my back my tries So we've done muscle up and we've done the pull up. Now it's time for leg to bar. This one's for strong arms. Um, actually, it's really cool. Um, right, Barry? Not bad, not bad. See if I can set the telescope up after that. Get a um, shot of the moon through the telescope. It's pretty mad sometimes. Okay, this is me trying to get the moon in uh, on my shitty little telescope. actually 10 plus years ago I thought it was amazing when I saw it didn't realize it was possible until I did see it a couple of years ago I got to probably my the skinniest I've ever been uh, the most out of shape and decided to get into shape and that the muscle up was one of my goals so I did this workout for about a year regularly with a view to get my muscle up. So I've actually got a video of the second muscle up I ever did. Um, it was straight after the first muscle up I ever did. So I'll, I'll put that right now. Before I got the muscle up, it was a massive uh, goal. 
of mine. I would have dreams of, of actually doing it, doing it very easily. They were really cool dreams because I'd just be wrecking them out, no problem. So now I can do it, I want to keep it up and I want to learn more skills. Front lever is definitely one. Planche is a big dream. One arm handstand is also a big dream. I, uh, I love YouTube. I watch it daily. So first person I really got into on YouTube was probably Niall Wilson, gymnast, Team GB. He's a lad and we like him. I would love to train with him one day. I want to learn that back summy. Around the same time, I got into Magnus uh, Mitba, who's a Norwegian climber, who seems like a lovely guy on YouTube too. Sick climber. I think one of the first videos I saw him was uh, doing some deep water solo, and he did an absolutely gnarly climb that I think he hadn't done before. And uh, to me, it seemed if, if he would have fallen on that, he, he would have died, but he just had supreme confidence in, in his ability. Just sent it, probably no problem. Like watching gaming videos, Modern Warfare specifically. So Mr. Fruit absolutely cracks me up. He's a G on YouTube. Through Magnus Mitba as well, I got to know Juju Mufu and Tom. Juju's jokes and uh, Tom is just a funny guy. Joe Rogan's cool too. Goals, working out goals. Front lever, planche, one arm handstand, climbing goals. I'm gonna be climbing for life. Lots and lots of climbing goals. Also surfing goals as well. So that's the first video done. Um, thank you to everyone for watching. And uh, I hope you enjoyed.